You know, sometimes we fall into the same patterns for dinner, and it can be fun to mix it up. So today we have a fun and flavorful side dish that's also incredibly easy. That's the important part for yes. me. Yes. I spent some time in the Cambria kitchen with Teresa Byers from Whole Foods, where we made spicy Tibetan cauliflower. This cauliflower is kind of hot right now. I feel like that's kind of the vegetable of the season. Definitely. People are using it for rice, um, mm -hmm. pizza crust, whatever you can think of. But it's also much. like a great side dish. Maybe in like... Yeah. Maybe in addition to potatoes, but a lot of people are subbing it out, and you have kind of a spicy kick today. What are we making? Yeah, so this is our spicy Tibetan cauliflower, which you can get in our um, prepared foods case at the store, or you can follow the recipe that we'll have for you as well. So we start off with just the cauliflower, and you guys sell it already kind of chopped up. We do. So you can buy a whole head, or if you don't want to chop it up yourself, you can buy it like this. I mean, over here we have the green beans that we're going to add to it as well. Okay. Um, so you are just going to break those in half and take the end off as well, because you don't want to eat that part. Easy enough. After we've cooked it a little bit, and put it in here. And then we have this sauce right here, which is, um, it is some crushed red peppers that we soaked in some warm water for 15 minutes, um, garlic, and some tomatoes. Delicious. Yeah, you just blend it up. Is that a big to kick to it? it? Um, just a little bit, it's not too much at all. So we'll toss it up and then, um, what we're going to do is roast it in the oven. So for this one, we want to roast it about at 350 degrees for, we did about uh, 15 minutes. So you want to look for that caramelized um, look on it, a little bit browner edges. And then once you pull it out, you add a little bit more sauce. Yeah, so you're going to toss it with a little bit of sauce, some fresh chopped cilantro. You can also garnish some over the top of it. Um, like so to just make it look pretty. Beautiful. And then also we've added um, some sesame seeds, some white and some black ones just to give it a nice appearance. This looks like a restaurant dish. I mean you could definitely impress people. So let's mm -hmm. go ahead and give it a try. Oh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not too spicy at all. Mm -mm. That's perfect. I don't handle spice wow. very well. So maybe you would want, you could add a little bit more kick, but I thought it was perfect. It's a beautiful dish. It is. Too. Well, and what's fun is so that's what they sell in their, you know, their prepared food section. Oh. So it's kind of cool that they're sharing those recipes. That is cool. With us. You so, could just make it at home. Yeah, exactly. And then you could save it, you know, for a side dish or bring it to work the next couple of days. Yes. We do have the recipe at WCCO.com slash links. Awesome. Well, cauliflower's kind of having a moment. It is. It's oh. very hot. It's the big moment. So hot. It used to be so boring. Yeah. <laughs> Great.